Hey there, my Sagittariuses. How are you? I hope all is well. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Sean. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at your next 72. Please keep in mind that the timing is kind of fluid, meaning that it can happen a week later. It could have already happened. Um, or it can happen when you receive this message because these messages are timeless. Um, a disclaimer is I'm a mother, so you might hear my son come in and out of the room. If that bothers you, then you might want to click off the video because sometimes that happens. If that does happen, I typically put the video on pause and I assist my son and I come back because my baby comes first. Parents, you understand. Um, this is also a general reading, meaning it's not a personal reading. So take what does and what doesn't. Please just throw it out. That's basically what it means. You know, not everything I say is going to resonate with um, everyone. And with that said, let's go ahead and get into this for my Sages. All right. We're going to start off with Exodus 15.2. It says the strength is, I mean, <laughs> I said the strength is, the Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. I repeat. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Amen. So let's try this again. Because I tried to do your video earlier. And when I was editing and looked back at it, this whole freaking song was playing in the background. You can't have that on YouTube. It's ridiculous. It's very frustrating. Someone came in with really loud music. All right, Sagittarius. So tell me about Sagittarius in the next 72. Sagittarius. Thank you. Ooh, incarcerated. Who is incarcerated? Locked up, about to be, always in and out of jail. Hmm. Incarcerated. In Sagittarius. Hmm. So this is very interesting right here. Um, I don't typically take three, but I'm going to go ahead and take three right here. Some of you may be dealing with something that has to do with um, an incarceration, hearing about someone going to jail because of their careless actions. Something about having proof of this. Let me put this right here. I don't think you guys can see that very well. I'm going to let you see that for me for a minute. Um, getting proof about this. Just dealing with some. I don't think it's you. It's not you getting um, locked up. It's you dealing with someone who... Is probably in and out of jail or observing something like observing someone getting locked up or hearing about it like I said and there's like proof of what they did you might you'll be hearing about the proof of what they did this could even um, have something to do with a car or just a careless action this would be a family member of yours that is being incarcerated that you're hearing about but either way, in your reality, some of you may be seeing something, even like a story about someone being um, incarcerated and them getting evidence of what they did. And a vehicle may be um, a vehicle may be involved. My cat is acting crazy right now. Sorry. Okay. This person was probably incarcerated because they were impatient about something. I don't know. Very strange. Let me go ahead and put these right here. Some of you might be observing someone's behavior being wild or an animal acting very wild and um, just, just wild, basically, because my cat is acting completely out of his mind right now. Okay, we have the three of wands. We have the Ace of Cups right here. I feel like also for some of you Sagittarius, you may be turning your back on someone. This could be the person, if if this is the person that's incarcerated, you may be turning your back on them. You've lost patience with them. But I also see if this is not the case, some of you Sagittarius are turning your back on somebody. You don't have any patience for them anymore. Their stuff. I feel like for some reason I want to do that. 
that came along with that. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Some of you may have even been dealing with someone who wanted to get you into, um, this is another group, get you into trouble with them. Um, clarification on the Eight of Cups. King of Cups. Yeah, this person's a liar, dealt with someone who's a bit of a liar. They can be a sleazy type person. They don't have, they're not very considerate about people's emotions. They're a poor listener as well. Um, clarification of the Three of Wands here. Okay, the Three of Wands. Yeah. Um, and the Ace of Cups, clarification of the Ace of Cups. Good. I hope you guys can see this very well. Okay. You guys can see that. Okay, I'm going to get in a better look up your cards. I feel like for some of you, Sagittarius, you're probably having some impatience with a water sign as well. This could be just a water sign. This could be a father figure as well because I'm seeing um, the male with the... The baby right here. This could be definitely a, a father. I'm getting that you're losing patience with. And the next 72. I see you turning your back on someone. In the next 70. Just really focusing on. Um, some of you are really working on entrepreneurship. Just working on. Your skills, your talents, just focusing on your work right now with the Queen of Wands energy as well. It's like an enterprise energy here. You're also looking very attractive, Sag. I want to say you're looking very good as well while you're doing this, but you're turning your back definitely on someone. And this is definitely giving me a water sign. Water sign vibes. Spirit is saying something about a Scorpio for some of you as well. I see in the next 72, there is definitely some type of new emotional beginning after you guys had made a decision about something. It's like you guys were stuck in the past and the present. Like you guys were stuck with that two of wands energy and you made some type of decision and it's bringing you much more emotional fulfillment. For some of you, you're feeling very emotionally fulfilled in the next 72 because you have like a new partner. I want Spirit is saying partner in crime with something. Like you guys are, it's a new friendship or something. Yeah, some of you are meeting your match too in the next 72, which is quite inter interesting. It's like you guys share the same beliefs as well. That's for another group of you. But I see that Spirit is saying that there's justice after, you know, this really tough cycle with the Ten of Swords in reverse. There's definitely justice in your um, situation. But I want to say also look out for probably someone spreading misinformation in the next 72. Like spreading misinformation to get an upper hand. Some of you might be dealing with someone that has like a tattoo on their chest that's doing this. Or you have a tattoo on your chest. Um, something with a tattoo on the chest for some. But um, be careful do your research when you hear something, some news about something. Because um, someone might be very biased and they're kind of spreading some type of information that's not true. You'll discover that when you actually look into the situation a little further. But overall, it does look like a very good uh, 72 hours. You're moving on. Things are looking up for you emotionally. Justice is on your side. But keep... Look out for that person that's like spreading like probably misinformation. Some of you may actually be dealing with someone in the next 72 that's a bit um, bitchy, I want to say. A little bitchy behavior. Not a very nasty, a very nasty type person. Ignore them. They might um, be trying to get the upper hand in a situation on this. So make sure you use your intuition here. All right. 
Let's see what else is going on. What are other messages for our Sagittarius? Sun and rising. Thank you, Spirit. Ooh, blue flame. Um, you guys have the blue flame. So some of you are going through some type of spontaneous awakening. Some of you may actually even be experiencing visions, um, weird sensations in your body. You're having some type of spiritual awakening. I love that. In the next 72. Thank you. Surrender negative um, thinking, Spirit says. So make sure you guys are surrendering your negative thinking. Some of you might fall into this in the next 72. Make sure you release that. It says you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on a positive affirmations. I need to start using the affirmations deck on this uh, channel again. I think I only used it like one time. I'm saying like I, I'm acting like I use it all the time, Sad. Y'all know I, you're like, I probably... Some of you are like, I've never seen you use that deck ever. <laughs> I need to use it. All right. What else is going on for my Sages? So that you guys have some spiritual awakening going on. That's good. We have Mule. Someone is extremely stubborn and unwilling to change. So some of you will be dealing with someone who is being very stubborn. It could be you as well. Um. We also have some heartache over what you no longer have. There's going to be a situation in X72 that may have made you a little sad, but I still see you. Um, Spirit is saying disappointed. Okay, Spirit. Spirit said disappointed, but you're moving on from that. Like justice is on your side. Things are starting to look up. Be I also want to say, Sag, make sure that you're not falling into that mode where you feel like you're trapped again. Because um, you're not trapped. You're the creator of your reality. You're not trapped. I know that trapped energy very well. I thought I was trapped for a long time. And I started changing the way I was seeing things. And now things are starting to open up. Make sure you're not falling into that mind frame again. That set of mind. Make sure you're going outside and getting in touch with nature. So we have heart here. Love. Deep affection and caring. So I see, I see you really vibing with someone in the next 72 Sag. Definitely, it could be someone you're with, or maybe it's just a friendship. I feel you're very, uh, you're, you're vibing. And we have honor and respect will come to you. And some of you are protected by a powerful friend. Well, not some of you, all of you are protected by a powerful friend. I'm getting very nice. Some of you, this person that's protecting you, this powerful friend that's protecting you is actually um, not here with us anymore. And it's in the afterlife and they protect you. Express your love to your love messages. Let's see. What's going on with the love messages for Sag? True love. So, ooh, ooh, okay. So I see a connection here, Sag. I feel like your love life is really spicing up in the next 72. Some of you are, um, like I said, like vibing with this person. You're feeling really loved right here. Um, some of you might be hesitant to express your love, but Spirit says go ahead and express your love. I see you two being very playful. This is if you're with someone, you guys are being very playful within the next 72 hours or so. Um, very affectionate, very, very loving, wonderful energy you guys have. Um, and if you're single, you're definitely meeting that person and you guys are, there's some flirtating, flirt, <laughs> flirtating, flirtatious energy going on. I like it. Feeling like kids again. Let's see what's your financial message, Sag, for the next 72. For Sag, for Sag, unethical stability too, yeah, that's really interesting, I feel like for some of you, you're dealing with someone that um, definitely had some shady, uh, this is for another group of you, someone had some shady ways and they tried to get you involved in their shady ways and now they're going to jail, they got caught up, because I feel like that's the same thing with this unethical thing right here. 
But it says unethical behavior can lead to some serious consequences. Someone is stealing or lying to you about money. Don't sacrifice your morals for money. Don't do that. They'll drag you down with them. Stability. It says your financial future promises to be stable and prosperous. Take control of your finances to create stability in your life. Excellent time to take action on any money related ventures. All right, let's get your channel messages and we will be done. This one's trying to hang off, so we're going to go ahead and take that one. Sagittarius and stop. Do that. Okay. It's my son. He's going, Mom. Okay. Stop replaying it in your mind. Something in the next 72 or so, you're replaying it over and over in your mind. Try to think of something else. Stop replaying whatever this event is or whatever was said over and over in your mind, Spirit is saying. Success in the near future. Do you hear that, Sag? Near future, not further out in the future. In the near future, success is on the horizon. Some of you have an old friend that returns. Very awesome, an old friend returns. You will be able to take a trip. Some of you are concerned about taking a trip. It's saying you will be able to take the trip. Mm. Time to break away from that group. Spirit is saying there's some type of group that you're hanging around. Um, there is a need for you to break away from them. They're not good for you. Your, mo your mind likes to lie to you. See how you're playing? Some, some of you Sagittarius are replaying something in your mind and you're replaying it so much to where now your mind is starting to like lie to you and tell you crazy stuff. Some of you might feel a little paranoid. Time to refocus, recenter. I would say take a break from social media. Get outside in nature. Ground yourself because your mind is like lying to you. It's not even true. Whatever weird story you're telling yourself. I know this very well because my mind has lied to me about some crazy stuff. I've been thinking the worst, and that's not even the case. You're highly protected. Protected from a, a powerful friend. You guys are highly protected. Something is happening in the next few days, or your answer is the next few days, Spirit is telling you. Stop trying to be superwoman. Stop trying to do everything. This can even be superman if you're a male. Stop trying to take on the whole world. It's not for you, for you to take care of like every freaking thing. You'll overwhelm yourself. Spirit is reminding you that you are not of this world. Okay, you're of a greater power. You have tap into your God energy, your inner God. It's in all of us. Like you're not in, of this world. This is like a big school. So remind yourself of that. And we have, don't believe what that person is telling you. See, I, that's crazy. The Queen of Swords, like some type of weird information. Somebody's going to tell you something like crazy. It's like biased information that they don't even have their facts straight. They're making stuff up. They're just trying to get the upper hand on something. Be careful with that. All right, my Sages, if you like this reading, hit the thumbs up, hit subscribe. I really appreciate it. I love all of my Sages and have a wonderful next 72. Bye.